I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about L-theanine as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. L-theanine is a non-dietary amino acid found in tea, and especially high levels in green tea. L-theanine was first isolated from green tea in Japan by Sakato in 1949. As an analog of glutamate and glutamine, it's hydrolyzed in your intestine and liver into glutamate and ethylamine and easily crosses your blood-brain barrier. L-theanine is one of the very few nootropics known to modulate brain waves. It affects alpha brain waves, which are associated with relaxation providing an alert calmness. L-theanine helps in promoting super learning, flow states, and joy. L-theanine boosts the neurotransmitters uh, serotonin, dopamine, and GABA in your brain, as well as increasing brain-derived nootropic factor and nerve growth factor. L-theanine is known for helping to relieve stress, improve cognition, boost mood, and cognitive function. L-theanine boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, L-theanine reduces physical and mental stress. Theanine helps increase alpha waves in the brain, which are associated with mental relaxation and concentration. One study in South Korea worked with healthy male volunteers aged 18 to 30 years. One group was given L-theanine tablets and the other group was given a placebo for seven days. Brain waves were measured uh, 40 minutes after administration of the tablets and the researchers analyzed alpha brainwave power values and concluded that L-theanine tablets promoted the release of alpha brain waves related to mental relaxation and concentration. Now, just as a little side note here, in May of 2016, researchers at Simon Fraser University in Canada developed a new technology to clinically measure brainwave patterns. With this technology, we're now able to detect cognitive dysfunction before it happens. So imagine the implications of this new technology when applied to the nootropics world. Now, the second way L-theanine helps your brain is that it increases neurotransmitters. Research shows that L-theanine increases dopamine, serotonin, and GABA in your brain and reduces the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate, which is, which is associated with stress, tension, and agitation. A study done in Japan worked with 12 people who underwent four separate trials, one in which they took L-theanine at the start of the experiment and one in which they took it halfway through and two, two controlled trials in which they took either a placebo or nothing. The results showed that L-theanine resulted in a reduced heart rate and SIGA, which is associated with acute stress. The researchers concluded that L-theanine can cause anti-stress effects via the inhibition of cortical neuron excitation. L-theanine energizes without draining. It calms without putting you to sleep and it motivates without causing a jagged edge. Now, tea, as a source of L-theanine, can have as much caffeine as some coffees, and yet doesn't exert the same speedy effect. And the reason is the ingredient in L-theanine. Now, you can actually see L-theanine's effects in your brain using an EEG. Brain waves are smoothed out rather than flattened out. So your body is relaxed, your mind is calm, but you don't get sleepy. And L-theanine, once it crosses the blood-brain barrier, raises levels of serotonin and dopamine. Now, L-theanine even improves your quality of sleep. Researchers in Japan gave volunteers 200 milligrams of L-theanine daily and recorded their, their sleep patterns. Sleep quality, recovery from exhaustion, and feeling refreshed were all enhanced by L-theanine. And L-theanine puts you in a better mood. Once it crosses the blood-brain barrier, L-theanine increases the levels of the amino acids affecting serotonin, dopamine, and GABA, having a modulating effect on mood. 
Your unique neurochemistry, including neurotransmitters, brain waves, brain structure, and even regional brain activity, will influence your response to L-theanine. Now, most neurohackers report a calming effect within 30 to 45 minutes of taking L-theanine. Cognition gets a boost and energy levels rise without the jitteriness caused by stimulants like caffeine. And some report that L-theanine has stopped their anxiety and panic attacks. But don't combine it with anti-anxiety meds like Xanax. And most report an overall improvement in their sense of well-being and quality of life and nearly all remark on better quality sleep. Now, there's been a lot of uh, research into l, l theanine over the last few decades. I'm going to mention two or three of them here because I think they're important. The green tea it reduces the incidence of stroke. This is an incredible study. Research has found that if l theanine is present in your body at the time a stroke occurs, brain damage will be significantly reduced. Now in this huge gigantic study done in China, researchers selected 14,212 subjects from 12 provinces. The ages ranged from 35 to 60 years old and the study looked at tea drinking status, dose, and type of teas. The study concluded that there was a 40% decreased risk of stroke in those who drank green, black, and jasmine teas. That's amazing. And then we've got a study on how L-theanine improves memory. In this double-blind, placebo-controlled study, the effect of L-theanine on memory and attention was investigated. 91 subjects with mild cognitive impairment were enrolled in this study. One group received uh, 680 milligrams of L-theanine daily for six weeks, and the control group received a placebo. The study concluded that L-theanine increased brain theta waves associated with cognitive alertness and creativity, and there were improvements, improvements in memory, too. The results of this study suggested that L-theanine has, a, a poten has potential for intervention and cognitive improvement. And that is an understatement by any stretch, in my opinion. I know that people spend years meditating with the goal of reaching a consistent access to brainwave states like theta. And in this trial, they did it with a dose of L-theanine. The same type of dose you would get with a few cups of quality green tea. So you can do hours and hours and hours of meditation or have a few cups of tea. And then we have a study on how L-theanine reduces stress. Considerable research has been dedicated to L-theanine and its benefits to stress reduction in both animals and humans. And we have ample documentation that corticosterone and stress exert negative effects on memory. Corticosteroids, which are secreted after stress, have a profound impact on uh, long-term potentiation and memory formation. In this animal study, Rats were fed water containing L-theanine for three weeks and put through some stress-inducing ex exercise. The researchers found that corticosterone levels were lower in rats who used L-theanine compared to those who didn't. In fact, uh, stress had no effect on the animals who were uh, fed L-theanine. Memory was not affected. The researchers concluded that L-theanine modified corticosterone um, secretion and L-theanine is a strong preventive measure in preventing memory loss otherwise induced by stress. The recommended dose of L-theanine is 200 to 400 milligrams once or twice per day with a maximum of 1200 milligrams per day according to the Le Cleveland Clinic. L-theanine is water soluble so you can take it with water. Labels on quality green tea often only display the amount of green tea leaf available in each bag in, in milligrams, but not its L-theanine content. Now green tea that's steeped correctly will offer 1 to 2 percent L-theanine per cup. That, so that's 1500 milligrams of green tea leaf would be about 30 milligrams of L-theanine at 2 percent. 
Now, we often say that your mileage uh, may vary, and this is especially applicable to L-theanine. Find out what works best for you. Start at a lower dose, like 100 milligrams, and work your way up until you achieve the effects that you're looking for. L-theanine is a naturally occurring amino acid found in plants like tea and one species of mushroom, so it's considered non-toxic and very safe. L-theanine seems to decrease blood pressure, so if you're on meds for high blood pressure, use L-theanine with caution. Your blood pressure could go too low. L-theanine is available in green, black, and white teas. Green tea contains the most L-theanine. Now a great side benefit for neurohackers is green tea also contains caffeine. A cup of good quality green tea has less caffeine than a cup of coffee, about 10 to 20 milligrams less. Now, rather well known in nootropic circles is the L-theanine and caffeine stack. One study done at Unilever in the UK looked at the common combination effects of L-theanine and caffeine on cognitive performance and mood. They compared 50 milligrams of caffeine with about 100 milligrams of L-theanine. The research team had 27 volunteers participate, and they based their measurements on word recognition and visual information processing, critical, critical flicker fusion threshold, attention switching, and mood. Performance was measured at the beginning and again at 60 minutes and 90 minutes after consumption, separated by a seven-day washout period. Caffeine improved alertness at 60 minutes, and accuracy on attention switching at 90 minutes. The L-theanine and caffeine combination improved the speed and accuracy and reduced susceptibility to distracting information and, um, on the memory task. The research team concluded that L-theanine and caffeine com combined are beneficial for improving performance on cognitively demanding tasks. And for an added bonus, L-theanine takes the jittery edge off of the caffeine consumption. Extracting the optimal amount of L-theanine from green tea is both an art and a science. Researchers at University of Newcastle in Australia set out to determine optimal conditions for water extraction of L-theanine from green tea. They examined four different extraction methods and they learned that temperature, extraction time, the ratio on water to tea, and tea particle size had significant impacts on extraction yield of L-theanine from green tea. They concluded the optimal conditions for extracting L-theanine from green tea using water were found to be extraction at 80 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, at a water to tea ratio of 20 to 1, and a T particle size of a half to one millimeter. So to get the most nootropic value when using green tea as your theanine source, follow the directions. Just saying. L-theanine is available in capsule or tablet form from several supplement manufacturers. The Japanese company Tayo is the oldest and most well-established company in the, in the uh, green tea supplement industry. Tayo developed and patented a method for L-theanine extraction from green tea called sun-theanine. Sun-theanine is included in, as the L-theanine stores from several large supplement makers, like MindLab Pro, for example. My favorite nootropic stack has got sun-theanine. So if it has sun-theanine on the label, you're assured that the amount of L-theanine listed is the actual amount in each capsule. Research has shown that some supplement makers use their own extraction method for L-theanine, and they contain more than just the L form of theanine. It turns out if it's not done exactly right, you end up with a D form of theanine. D-theanine may have very, a very different action in your body than L-theanine. So, I'm not saying that it's dangerous. You're just not going to get all the benefits of pure L-theanine. So, read the labels and the reviews by people who have tried the product. And with a little experimentation, you'll find an L-theanine supplement that works for you. So, my Nootropics Expert recommendation for L-theanine is 250 to 500 milligrams per day. 
And that's my report on L-theanine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for L-theanine. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using L-theanine, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on nootropicsexpert.com. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.